2022 has started with a lot of positives to warm our hearts. So counting down on the positive stories of the third month of the year. Here are the top 5 positive news stories of March, 2022. Before we begin, please show us some love by liking our video, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell icon to receive notifications for upcoming positive listicle videos. Number 5. NBA basketball star donates full salary this season to build hospital in Congo to honor father. Bismack Biombo, returning to the NBA after a year as a free agent, has announced he will donate the entire $1.3 million value of his contract to the construction of a hospital in his hometown in Congo. Taking last season off to care for his sick father, who passed away in August of 2021, Biombo said he became aware of just how fortunate he was simply to be able to bring his father to the hospital. The announcement of constructing the hospital was made this month, two months after Biombo signed a one-year contract with the Phoenix Suns. The hospital will be named in honor of his father whom Biombo described as my friend, my business partner, my mentor, and everything. The construction will be carried out through the Bismack Biombo Foundation, which uses the star's success as an NBA player to help those in Congo. During the early pandemic, the foundation delivered $1 million in medical supplies to hospitals across the country. The foundation focuses on creating initiatives in three areas to multiply opportunities for children in the Congo, and they are athletics, education, and health. Its work results in 185 annually granted scholarships, 150 higher education opportunities, and helps over a thousand patients every week receive treatment at Congolese hospitals. The story is remarkably similar to that of Atlanta Hawks center Dickum Mutombo, who donated $2 million of his NBA earnings toward the building of a planned $44 million hospital and medical center in his hometown of Kinshasa, Congo in 1998. Number 4. Photographer takes hilarious pictures of dogs catching cheese to raise money for charity. The dog photographer who captures hilarious pictures of pooches trying to catch cubes of cheese has been busy raising money to buy pet food for food banks and various dog charities. 56-year-old Caroline Cowan recently snapped pictures of 41 dogs lunging for cheese at a charity catchathon event. Caroline pictured everything from Rottweilers and Greyhounds to Little Border Terriers. Her husband Elizdare diced up 10 kilograms of cheese to throw at the pooches, while Caroline snapped away, taking around 50 pictures per pet. What followed are some hilarious candid pictures of pooches lunging for cheese. Caroline started the event in 2018 and put it on for 14 months, raising 15,000 pounds, but was forced to pull the plug on it when the pandemic hit. She has resumed the event again this year, and they have started a GoFundMe page to raise £2,000 for dog charities. Number 3. Turkey opens first carbon-negative biorefinery in Europe. The first carbon-negative biorefinery in Europe opened in Istanbul and is utilizing algae to make a variety of products for multiple sectors in Turkey. Turkey is hoping to use both microalgae and macroalgae to produce a variety of products including fuel, food supplements, and fertilizers at its new biorefinery. The refinery is part of Turkey's integrated biorefinery concept for bioeconomy-driven development or independent project which aims to provide fuel for the energy sector as an alternative to dependency on fossil-based and non-renewable resources among others. In order to process sustainable natural resources based entirely on algae without depending on fossil resources, an integrated carbon-negative biorefinery system with a zero-waste target has been designed. It is the first such facility of its kind both in Europe and Turkey. Number 2. How a YouTube channel is transforming a remote village in Bangladesh. A YouTube channel called Around Me BD that depicts a community kitchen has helped create a whole new economy in Shamulia village, which has since been dubbed the YouTube village of Bangladesh. The channel has over 4 million subscribers and garners millions of views every month. The YouTube village is a prominent example of a niche but is also part of a growing online trend across South Asia. As the internet reaches villages, rural societies are finding ways to showcase and monetize their unique food cultures to audiences across the world using platforms like YouTube and Facebook. 
In India, Village Cooking Channel, which posts videos of large-scale traditional cooking, has over 15 million subscribers. In Pakistan, Village Food Secrets has 3.5 million subscribers. Villagers who previously had little presence in media are now using these platforms to take ownership of the way their culture is portrayed and building businesses that support dozens and occasionally hundreds of individuals. Over the last four years, the channel has adopted a rustic practical visual style. Authenticity is the cornerstone of the channel's success. As the channel's popularity has grown, the channel which is run by Khan and Hussein have hired people in the village to plan the shoots and manage the crowds that come to eat, as well as delegated responsibility to make the channel a self-sustaining endeavor. The channel now employs around 50 workers, including 17 women, who feature in the videos and run the show. When a fire burned down several houses in the village, the ad revenue from YouTube was used to rehome those who lost theirs in the fire. The channel also foots medical expenses for the elderly in the village. Through this YouTube channel, the village aims to be self-sustaining, financially and otherwise, and put Shamulia on the world map. Number 1. Former Marine drove 1,000 miles to Ukraine border in minibus loaded with supplies, toys, and blankets for refugees. A former UK Royal Marine has loaded a 16-seater minibus with sleeping bags, pillows, and toys for refugees moving across the Ukrainian border into Poland and pledged to drive 1,000 miles to personally deliver them. 31-year-old Tom Littledyke from Lyme Regis began his journey on February 28, saying he was inspired to act after seeing pictures of families broken and separated by the conflict. Setting up a fundraiser, it took Little Dyke just 12 hours to fill his minibus with supplies and collect £4,000 in donations for the trip. The 1,000-mile drive will take him and his cargo through England, France, Germany, and Poland before arriving at the border with Ukraine, where an alleged 500,000 refugees have fled. After unloading the supplies, he plans to utilize the bus to give rides to people who have a place to stay. While it is said that war is hell, we at Positive Listicles know that during times when the capacity for human malevolence is greatest, the capacity for compassion is greater. Multiply the positivity by sharing these sweet stories with your friends on social media, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for upcoming Positive Listicle videos.